Hey, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us the new advanced formula editor that allows us to create, manage, reuse, and in fact, import formulas from the web and from text. So let's get started. This new feature was announced by the Excel team on the 8th of February 2022, and it is available on desktop, web, and Excel for the Mac. So let's see how to get this heading. So come to the Insert tab here. And click on get headings under the headings now in the office headings search for advanced formula which is enough as a keyword click enter okay so we have the advanced formula environment so click on hard and click on continue now this should be available in the far right of the home tab of the ribbon so let's click on the advanced formula environment to see the environment so this is the environment we have the manager and the editor tabs and we have the opportunity to import from the web i can even import from text okay we have text you can actually add name formula you can synchronize with your name manager okay now let's come to our data set based on our data set we want to apply what is called a non-contiguous filtering technique okay now this is what i mean i have three columns here okay brand region and total now we have the brand we have payments i do not want to return the payments based on the filtered results i want the region i do not want the units and the price i want the total so what i'm going to do is come to cell g3 and deploy filter okay now the filter requires an array so i'm going to give the entire columns which are brand to total columns comma so for the include argument we have two criteria i want to check for year that is equal to 2014 and total that is greater than or equal to a million so for that open parenthesis so i want to check the year comma are you equal to 2014 close the first criteria then we use the logical operator for the and logical text okay so for this i'm going to open second parenthesis i want to check the total are you greater than or equal to 1 million then we close the second criteria and we close the filter control enter wow we have this result okay now i do not want this payment the unit and the price column so i'm going to come to the formula one more time f2 to open the formula and then deploy the second filter so this is going to be the array input value for the second filter comma now for the include i'm going to use what is called the array constant so open the curly bracket now based on our selection from column c to h which are brand and total i want the brand so i'm going to give one to represent true i do not want payment zero comma i want region one i do not want unit and price zero comma zero comma finally i want the total to be returned one close the curly bracket close the filter control enter that's amazing now i'm going to apply you know sort function okay so come here let's sort now i want to sort by okay this is going to be the array then we put in the comma carefully here and then we want to sort by the third column that's going to be the sort index so i'm going to just type in three comma and let's do descending order okay close the sort control enter so we have actually sorted it okay from the largest to the smallest now let's you know use our lambda function inside here so lambda so i need how many parameters one two three so i'm going to call the first one my selection comma my yeah now you can actually use whatever you want as a parameter finally my total comma so let's go ahead and pass these three defined parameters into our filter formula so come here let's grab this i'm going to call this on my selection okay so i'm going to come here carefully take this out this structured reference i'm going to call this on my year and carefully i'm going to take this structured reference syntax and i'm going to call this on my total okay that's fine now close the lambda now if i hit control enter it's going to give me a calc error so in order to see this result in the worksheet open parenthesis and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give the three um columns which the first one is going to be my selection so select this entire data set comma and then the second is going to be the year comma and the third is going to be the total close parenthesis control enter it's working now let's go ahead and take the part of the formula we need we only need um this section so i'm going to take this excluding the 
equal sign control c escape let's even delete now let's come to the advanced formula environment so click on add name so i'm going to call this on my function now for the refers to i'm going to paste here and that's all i need to do okay all things being equal click on add okay you can actually see that we have the formula which is well laid out so you can actually edit you can rename you can delete and if i can even share okay on sync to synchronize with the name manager in order for us to be able to reuse the lambda okay the formula so click on this now having done that come to the formulas tab you can actually see the name manager and we have the my function here so that's fine now let's use the formula okay so equal sign my function or the function rather so you can see we have the my selection my year and my total parameter that we define now let's give it in the same order let's take comma my year column b comma and the total that's all close parenthesis control enter this is awesome okay so you can actually see that it is very easy to you know auto in lambda in formula and you can actually do that in the advanced formula environment you can perform all sorts of things here so this is essentially how you know we can use the advanced formula editor you know to auto our formula i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share comment and subscribe to this channel bye for now